the Daily Digestion Channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about why I quit putting hair color on my hair. I had uh, constantly put hair color on my hair for 20 plus years and um, when I had had my bicycle wreck I decided it was time to quit. Um, so I had highlighted my hair with lots of different uh, hair colors. I did frosting, I did highlighting, I did bleaching, I, did, I would go back to brown and then for the last six years I started playing around with natural hair color and I was really trying so hard to be healthy. But deep down inside, I knew that I really wasn't being healthy by covering up my hair color. I just really felt like that I wasn't being honest with myself and that I was trying to cover up what I really was deep inside. So, um, and now, after my bicycle wreck, it's been a year, I basically don't wear any makeup hardly, except occasionally I will wear some makeup if I'm going out with my husband or something like that. Um, you know, if I'm really trying to look special, I might uh, put some makeup on. But, um, so I quick, I, I used the, um, some natural hair color, like I said, for the last six years, I used Fair, fairy or not fairy uh, it's um, it's henna it's a, a brand of henna that I use Surya Brazil and it was a really great brand but I actually found out that the, the type that I was using had some chemicals in it so it really technically was not good for my scalp so um, I quit uh, using the fairy and, or not the Feria, but the Surya Brazil, which is a natural henna-based product. Um, and I quit using that this past year. But, like I said, since I've quit using it, I realized I had a lot more gray hair than what I originally thought. And that was the hard part to accept because I had been covering up my hair for so long and I did a lot of research on it and everything and it turns out that when you put hair color on the hair shaft on your scalp that it actually kills the melanin sites on your head so I had heard that using hair color was bad for uh, your hair and it made you go prematurely gray well, that is true, and the reason being for that is that you destroy the melanin sites, which is the little uh, follicles that give your hair hair color. You actually destroy those with the chemicals because what they do is they burn your scalp. They literally burn your scalp, so they kill uh, your hair follicles after a while. So after a while, uh, you know, you're destroying things. You're destroying your, um, you're destroying and burning your scalp. Which, guys, that sounds cancerous to me. To constantly keep, you know, destroying something like that, you're, you're, I uh, uh, yeah. Okay guys, check this out. I found some of these in a store called the Green Grocery. Green Grocer. I got like several of them. They were $2 a pound. Okay, this is what they look like normally. They, these are called, um, oh my gosh, why cannot I not think of this? starts with a P. 
Hold on, I'm gonna have to think for a minute. Okay guys, they're called persimmons. That's what these are called, okay? And these are really interesting. I've never really had them before. And they had them, this is what it looks like on the inside of a ripe one. I mean guys, this is delicious. Like, look at that. It's like the cross between a, a date and a peach. That's the only way how to describe this. It's the cross between a date and a peach. And guys, it's delicious. Like, I mean, I don't think they're organic. Mm. So that's why I'm not eating the skim. But I got these over at the green grocer uh, for $2 a pound. So I got six of them for $4. That's a really good deal. I was quite pleased. So, yeah. Exciting. And the weird thing about it was is I had really concepted this in getting these things because I really wanted one so bad and I was like because there was a tree remember the tree out of my video of uh, the previous video where I went to this tree and I was trying to get the, the persimmons down they were like baby persimmons they're small they're not I guess they're not GMO they're like the small ones in this area and I couldn't get them down and um, I just picked them off of the ground and was like eating the half rotten ones off the ground and then so like I'm I'm over here at Earth Fair and I'm like okay I'm gonna go check out this store that I see over there it's called Green Grocer and I'm like that's weird so I'm gonna go over there and check it out and lo and behold they had a whole pile of these and I was like, that's weird. Because normally you can't find them anywhere. And like, I've never even seen them. Like, Earth Fair doesn't even have them. And, like, Walmart will have them and they'll be outrageously expensive. And these are cheap. Like, $2. Like, three of them for $2. That's a good deal considering they're usually $2 a piece at Walmart and they're horrible. They're not even right for anything. <sighs> okay guys, now I'm eating some vegetarian, well it's vegan vegetable soup and it is delicious. It's got beans and vegetables and it is just the bomb. And I'm just relaxing, waiting on my son to get done at the mall. Okay guys, I'm eating these vegan cookies. I know I shouldn't be eating them. It's total vegan junk food. And I'm PMS. And I'm waiting on my son. And yeah, you know the drill. I start out with great intentions. And this is what happens. So, what do you do? You like juice? like a mad woman for weeks you're like juicing three times a day eating raw foods and then all of a sudden you just start binging out on stuff like this it's like I have no control it's like in the Bible what Paul said it's like my will is not my own I do what I not and I do what I don't want to do or what I know that I shouldn't do, but I do it anyway. You know, that's me right now. <sighs> you know, but it'll be okay because I'm just going to keep juicing, but I'm not going to do this again. I mean, it's okay to do it every once in a while. You just shouldn't do it like every day. You know? Because that is where it gets dangerous. But a little bit of this every once in a while won't hurt. 
Um, this stuff is like crack. I mean, it really is. You start eating it, and you can't stop. Like, I got two of these cookies, and I was just gonna eat one. Well, need life say more. I ate one, and then I was like, I'm just gonna eat one more. So yeah, I'm just sitting here eating them. I'm getting that feeling of like, I know I've reached my sugar limit, but I'm just eating it anyway. okay though it's okay to do this like I mean I never see vegan cookies like this so of course I was gonna have to eat them I live in a place where they don't have very many vegan options so for me to see vegan cookies like this in a bakery it was like dream come true you know so I mean it's okay every once in a while you just don't want to make habits like this you don't want to do it all the time like if you break down you screw up like this the next day you just start over like tonight I'm gonna go home and make a big green salad after this you know and it will it will make me feel better it will be fine tomorrow just start all over. Juice. Eat the best you can and stay away from places like this. Like, the next time I come here, I'm not even going to look at that stuff. True. So, lesson learned. Just don't go to that part of the store again. <laughs>